everybody, how's it going today? So today we're going to talk about how to pull data from the web into a coherent list of potential clients in the next just few minutes. So yeah, you can buy a mailing list and you can, you can go online, there are services that will do this for you, but I want to show you you can do it yourself. You can bootstrap this. If you're short on cash, but you want to market to every dentist office in town, how do you do that if you don't want to have to buy a list? And you want to just say, hey, I don't have the money to do this. I don't have the money to hire someone, and let's get this done. Or if you're just like me, and you like to just do some of this yourself, and you want to compile your list, and you want to personalize it, and you want to get things, um, your hands dirty, so to speak, in um, figuring out how to do this stuff. If you just like to do that, this is for you. So we're going to head off to the computer right now and um, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. Um, specifically today we're going to look at how to target commercial facilities that you might want to get into for whatever you're marketing for. So let's go to the computer and I'll see you over there. Alright, so here we are on the computer and what we're going to go get first is what's called uh, instant data scraper. So if you're not on Chrome, this is a Chrome extension, so you will have to use um, Chrome to use this product. So just type in instant data scraper and you can click on that and it will go to here. So this is uh, the Chrome extension that you want to use. It's called instant data scraper. It's got a little Pokemon ball on it. So get that onto your, uh, your Chrome browser and then we'll go into how to use it. So how this product works is we'll go into yellow pages. Now what you want to do with the scraper is and what a scraper does is it scrapes data it scrapes data from the websites. So the way it works is we're gonna look for something specific. So what niche do we want to be in? Um, doesn't really matter what it, what niche it is. If it can be found on the yellow pages, then you can use it. So let's type in something that might be good. How about um, lawyers' offices? So let's click here. We'll say lawyer. All right. So now when lawyer comes up, we're going to have a few different things. Here. We're going to have criminal defense. Um, a group might be good. So lawyers group. Um, you're going to have lawyers firms, so law firms would be good, lawyers groups would be good as well. So let's say groups. So lawyers group in Fresno, California is where I am at. And what it's going to do is going to pull up all of these attorneys here that are in a group. Okay. And it might not be, it's not going to be perfect where we have, you know, oh, these are all perfectly in, in a group and at the big law offices. No, that's. That's probably not going to be the case. But we do have it compiled a list of lawyers. So we got a long list there of lawyers, and oh, it's only one page. So that will be easy. So the lawyers groups, it narrowed it down, and then what you do is you open your data scraper. Okay, it looks like this. So I'm going to open this up big so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Now I have got rid of some stuff here. So if you if you reset the columns. It's going to originally looks like this. So we got a lot of data here that the scraper is, is pulling off of the website. So you got all of this, years in business, all of it's going to pull everything off. So what you want to do is we don't need most of this. So what you do is adjust your columns. So we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need uh, this. And you just keep on narrowing it down until you have exactly what you want on your list. And really what we want is the name of the the law firm, this name, and we want the address. So city, state, zip, all of that needs to be on this list because what we're going to do is we're going to pull it off into an Excel file or a CSV file depending on how your uh, data needs to be handled to go into the printer. That's what you need to do. So I'm going to take some time here. We're going to go through this and we're going to get rid of all this stuff that we just don't need. Years in business, don't need. Uh, random numbers, don't need. So and this takes just a few minutes. Now if you want the phone numbers, they're there. Obviously you can keep those. 
if you want to try to do a, a call as well but you don't have to so now we have there's their name we have the street address and we have where it's the local uh, Fresno California and the zip so we can get rid of all the rest of this stuff if you do want their website or their email sometimes that is there as well so then once we're there we only have that okay now we can let me minimize this and oops and what we're going to do is minimize that as well so what we can do now it used to be a lot easier to scrape so for some reason the extension is not working like it used to so it's a little bit more uh, difficult to do this but very little more so what we got here is we have all these lawyers that are listed in a group right all right, and they're all here. All you have to do is print that out and mail to them. All right, so, but what if we do lawyers? So we're going to reset. Let's just close that search there. So what if we do lawyers, but not the group? We'll just do lawyers in general. All right, so that's going to return a much larger data set than was was original so we've got several pages here so what we're going to do with the scrapers we're going to open the scraper again let's put it over here all right so and sometimes the data scraper will keep your original uh, what you had and sometimes it returns something different so you you'll have to reset the columns again and do and do it that way but it only takes a few minutes so but what I want to show you here is let's make this a little bit bigger all right, so we, we have the first page has been scraped. So what you used to be able to do was crawl. Set infinite scroll and start crawling. And what it would do is it would go down, it would go to the next page, and then it would continue to go page after page after page after page. But for some reason, it's not doing it anymore. So it, it's some sort of block. Either Google's blocking it, somebody's blocking it. So what you want to do is just click page two and then uh, crawl it. Okay, it'll grab the data just like that and then move on. And you just keep going. So it might be 10 or 15 pages of data if you're going to do all lawyers and you just crawl each, each time you just crawl and then click on the next page and crawl it again. There we go. Next page and crawl it again. And it's going to keep to you go. You just keep doing that. Now it's going to give you as many results as there is lawyers. So once you, uh, and then of course you have to delete all the, the information that you don't need. And then you end up with just the name, the address, and phone number if you want it, and whatever, whatever that is. So that's it really. And then what that means to you is you don't have to pay to figure out, okay, I want to mail to all the lawyers in town. I need to pay a service to get all the lawyers? No. You go in and data scrape. And this can be anything. You can also use it with uh, Google Maps and other things, but Yellow Pages seems to work the best. Sometimes the Google results won't give you, like Google Maps won't give you the zip code. Uh, leave stuff out. So you can do anything. We can do dentist office. We can do um, factories what, whatever you want you can do it so so really this just makes it really easy to compile your lists it's it's very easy to type something like um, dentist or some anything really dentist so if you want to look for if you want to mail to all the dentists then you just simply go to dentists you reset your search just close it and open it back up and you've reset your search and now it's going to scrape for dentists and you do the same thing for whatever you want to advertise to you have to know your niche and know what who you want to advertise to and then just do a search scrape the data and then all you do from there is put the data into whatever kind of file you want if you want an Excel file you just put you know yellow pages search whatever and then it's there and then all you have to do is, is print out the addresses label them send them out or if you have a mailing service that you use then you just send them the addresses say mail this letter to all all these dentists um, I do recommend when you are going to be uh, doing this type of mailing that so let's take for example 
you want to like I personally did a uh, a mailing in this exact same method for uh, funeral homes so what I want to do is show you what exactly I do to prepare for that so when I did the funeral home example I do looked up all the funeral homes in the area and then I mailed to them so what that what I did to prepare for that was actually put together a funeral home page on your website now this is a clone I have any one of my the business pages that I have I have several on the website so if I'm going to advertise directly to the funeral homes I want them to be able to click or go to the funeral home page and it's specific to them their needs what they need specifically to pictures of you know different things and then it's a clone of this this is on all the, the pages uh, where it shows you know different things different statistics um, what they do customized for funeral homes so when you are going to do something like this prepare for it make sure that you have something like this that they can go to so if if it was for dentist office you're gonna make sure okay I have a dedicated page for dentist offices now usually what you'll do is you'll you go services and you go to uh, commercial cleaning or commercial carpet right there and then you have a sub menu that pops off in funeral homes and all, all you know movie theaters dentist offices car dealerships whatever it is and that way they can go to or navigate to that particular page and it's just a clone but it's going to be specific to them and uh, but usually that's how you would go about doing that so but yeah it's instant data scraper and this is just a super fast super easy this is exactly what people are doing when you buy lists from them they're just scraping data from from the website you don't have to pay for that yeah they compile it and they get it all nice and pretty for you and send you just the list well I just put a list together in a matter of 10 minutes that had all the lawyers in town now I'm sure you could find a way to narrow this down by uh, zip code you just do the zip code a uh, zip code search uh, rather than uh, just a general search but just play with it but this is a, a great way to do commercial advertising um, and it's absolutely 100 percent free there's no cost to this whatsoever other than the stamp to mail the the letter and I told you in the last episode if you're wanting to know how to write sales letters just look up Dan Kennedy's ultimate sales letter and he'll walk you through um, all that unfortunately he is no longer living but there are um, there is things on YouTube and uh, different things on podcasts or you can actually hear him speak and he's an excellent marketer uh, a lot can be learned from Danny Kennedy so that is it uh, remember I'm doing a push this month to try to get a thousand subscribers so if you wouldn't mind subscribing if you're getting value from anything that I'm doing give me a like and give me a uh, subscribe but it would be it would be greatly appreciated so that's it for today and I'll see you in the next video and get out there and uh, let's market to some people all right if you have any questions put them in the uh, comment section if you want to work with me directly you can always go to carpetcleanertraining.com all right that's it have a great day and I'll talk to you in the next video